we're back here on our program, The Platform, Bikes Up, Guns Down. Uh, that is the theme of our program today, and um, we have a young man from Kemp Road, uh, Kilroy Lloyd, uh, here, who is uh, being very helpful to uh, young people in his area. Just take a look at this video, at uh, what they have been doing in Kemp Road. When I say bikes up, you say guns down. Bikes up, guns down. was happening there? Uh, we was having a back to school giveaway. We was giving away bikes, books, and even tech, textbooks, like you know the books you really need? Mm -hmm. We was giving away textbooks, bikes, and hot food, and had a lot of activities for the kids, face painting, bouncing castles, like get the community together. And where was this done? Uh, right in Camp Road. Uh, where in Camp Road? Uh, at the light in the middle, at the light. Okay. It's on the main Camp Road. By Chesapeake? Yes, sir, right on by Chesapeake Light. Mm, I mm -hmm. see. 
And you have um, sponsorship, you say, from various businesses? No, sir. No? Mm -mm. <laughs> you don't get sponsorship? Uh, full, full, uh, full support from my family and some friends, but no business sponsors. L again, how many people do you cater to? Uh, how many have to like the whole, the whole community. Well, like, it's uh, like, give, me a, give, give me a number. Uh, 50, 100? About a hundred. About a hundred. So. And and they are preteens and, and, and Yeah, young from like the ages are four and up, like four to twelve. Four and to twelve. Up. Um but some of the young men who are in your age bracket, those who are in their twenties, yes, they need to be spoken to as well. Yes, they need sir. to be uh, because I know it, it's a little difficult to reach them mm -hmm. when they are in their 20s, but there are some things that yes, you want to be... That I point out to them, too. Point out to them, yeah? Yes, sir. Uh, what do you say to them? Uh -huh. Because they're the, the, the fellas who are really giving uh, uh -huh. the trouble in the society, mm -hmm. right? And we're leading the youngest set of street. Exactly. Yes, sir. Exactly. When I see people going to <laughs> courts, the young men going to courts, they are in their high teens, 18, mm -hmm. 19, yes, 20, um, in handcuffs, mm -hmm. going to courts for possession of guns. Guns and uh, dangerous uh, drugs. Yes, and, and attempted murder mm -hmm. and all this type of thing. Yes, sir. Um, you, are, you are guarding young people away from those things. Yes, sir. It's so sure. inspiring. And I was asking Ken Roy um, if people wanted to contribute to this, how could they contribute? And he was just like, like almost blown away like he's like i've just been doing this yes. by myself and i just think it's incredible it's like yeah. actions speak louder than words and he's just yes. a real role model mm -hmm. and has taken this initiative as a young man with his family's support too to just not be asking everybody for help but just make it happen Perfect. and do it in your own community which i thought was inspiring and incredible no, it is a, it's, it's it's a wonderful organization uh to to be uh teaching uh, young people to put down guns, guns. and um, to avoid guns. Yes, you know, sir. I've never shot a gun in my life. No, so <laughs> You know, I never, never, never really pulled the trigger of a gun. <laughs> that's bad, eh? Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> and, but, but I find that so many young people have access to, 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 to guns and are able to to shoot guns, mm -hmm. and um, I keep asking the police where these guns are coming from. And I, these are... Uh, I can't see. I know you can't <laughs> see. But you know where drugs it's coming from. from. Mm -hmm. Yes? Where are the drugs coming from? They say Jamaica. Jamaica? <laughs> and they tell me you can buy drugs very easily um, uh, in these communities. Mm -hmm. You can buy drugs very easily anywhere. anywhere. I, w I walk down the street uh, looking the way I look and people are offering, offering me drugs, drugs right yeah. in, um, right downtown. That's how <laughs> much drugs is on the island, so it's not only secluded yes, to those yes, areas. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And you, you, you want to guard young people away from uh, using drugs, drugs as well. Yes, sir. How do you do that? Like... <laughs> You know, you really can't, can't, you can't, can't be on drugs and ride a bike like that. No. <laughs> yeah, how do you do that? How do you do that? I mean, sometimes, like, you know, the, the people look at you and believe that, that, that uh, they stereotype you, don't they? Mm -hmm. uh, they look at you and say, well, you know, he must be on drugs so or he so. must be a bad boy. Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> sir. You, you get that? Mm -hmm, a lot. And what do you say to them? I just let them, I don't really question or go after questions like that. I just let them think yeah, whatever they yeah, want to think. Actions speak louder than words. Actions speak louder than words. <laughs> and and, and uh, you, you just do what you are supposed, supposed to do, to, do. Uh, to, to, to help to train young people. Yes, sir. And Ken yeah. Ray, how, how, do you, how often do you practice on your bike? Because you're incredible. I think he's really the best person uh, on a bike that I've ever seen, Mr. Jones. Is that right? He is uh, so good that it must take hours of practice. Like when I first started, I was really practicing like every day. Like I'd have fall down like three times every day. You fall down three times <laughs> Yeah, every day. like three times every day I'd have fall down. But now, like I, I don't even really practice. Sometimes I ride once a week, twice a week. Like it just like, like how I don't reach the level where I am at. 
it don't like I don't really say go and ride every day no more. But isn't like, that a dangerous thing, uh, Kenroy? Yeah, dangerous. Have you been injured to the point where you needed to, to go to a doctor? Yeah, I broke my shoulder before. You broke your shoulder? Yes, sir. How, you, how, how, how it happened? Uh, I fall off the bike, flip over. I, like, I run up on the seat, and the bike just comes straight over. You went up on the, the seat? The seat up of on the, the bike? Seat. Yes, sir. You stood up on the seat? Yes, sir. The bike just came straight over and I broke my shoulder. Well, why would you stand up on the seat of a bike, man? <laughs> I was, I have, I, at that time when I had a point to prove, I wanted to be the best. And now that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at today. You, you, you <laughs> wanted to be, uh, what, what is uh, Evil can evil. Evil can evil. Evil, evil, evil. evil, yes. Sir. Huh? <laughs> uh, and you have some young men, uh, when I see them popping. Yes, sir. And these bikes make so much noise, man. Some some people make their bike louder. You could quiet it down. It ain't really that aggressive. Some, but some people just make their bike sound really aggressive. <laughs> you know, I go to 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 my mother on a Saturday, and um, when people are passing the house, mm -hmm. uh, uh, sometimes you have to stop talking because yeah. the, the 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 bike is making so much so noise. noise. Yes, sir. That is that is disturbing the peace mm -hmm. for a minute. Is, isn't for it? A minute. For, 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 for how long? That, that, that is against, isn't it against the law? For a yeah, minute. like if you up and down on one isn't street, isn't against now, the law? Like, you up and down in the same neighborhood. No, you can't do that. <laughs> blaring and blasting mm -hmm. this thing isn't that against the law? Yeah, it's against the law. That's why I carry them out by the tracks where it don't disturb nobody. We just ride. It would be really nice, though, to have an, op an opportunity to create a place where it was safer, you know, and where everybody could have helmets. Helmets is my big thing. But, um, yeah, and a nice, safe <laughs> environment for them to be able to do that without complaining and taking away the activity. Like, you know, we don't want to be like, okay, everybody's making noise in this area, everybody's doing something positive with us, but let's now take that away from them and give them a ticket and not let them have that to do. Because you know we have we don't have a lot of things for youth to do on this island. Mm -hmm. Everything's taken away, you know. Mm -hmm. So we we need to probably try to think of ways that we can build these structures. And I know you know in in the states and stuff like that they have skate parks, they have bike parks, they have um, all kinds kind of, of opportunities for people to. Um, be physically active, be focused, and be doing something. And if we take that all away, what's going to happen? People are bored, and people will start getting into the violence. drugs, more violence, more mm -hmm. guns, more, because we, they have nothing else to do. Nothing what else are do. they going to do? Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. So it, it's, um, with the number of organizations, uh, do you have contests? Yeah, we do bike shows. They bike have shows? shows. Yeah. That's all. And there's prizes, right? Yeah, because? prizes, cash prizes, up to five thousand dollars. Up to five thousand. Mm -hmm. What do you have to do for five thousand dollars? Win the show. I win the last one. Is that right? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, so, so <laughs> what, what 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 do you do? Tell us what you do. Just do a lot of tricks and stunts. And, and you did this at the at the, the track? HR the track. Tracks. Okay. Yes, sir. And, um, and you have judges? Yeah, they have they spring judges from the states, like dirt bike riders from the states. They spring in to judge the show. There's even um, dirt bike riders from the states that come to come participate to, mm -hmm. in the competition. Yeah. Wow, what do I know? <laughs> and then they're the ones that all go by close to where we live after the show, too. It's not only the Bahamians. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody does that ride. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I didn't know That's that. That's the route. I didn't know you. It, it was so um, organized um, yes. like that in New Providence. Mm -hmm. mm, it's very exciting. Even cars. Yeah, the, even cars is race. Yeah, cars. I know there, there, there are car races, but mm -hmm. I didn't know you had bike shows. Bikes, and stunt that you shows. Had these, and these stunt shows, and you mm -hmm. were able to... To win. win funds. Yes. Yes, sir. And there's children. There's children like like uh, last weekend, or there was this little boy little that was, must have been. He's I don't know how he's old he is. Five. Yes, and he has yeah. his helmet, helmet on, and, and he has his little bike, and he's doing wheelies. He's mm -hmm. lifting up that bike and doing wheelies at that age. Would you call it wheelies? wheelies. Yeah, when he pops <laughs> up the bike. <laughs> oh, that's what you call yeah. it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Wheelies. Mm -hmm. and then I, I get off. Our next kid, like when I personally is training. Like he but he's 13 now, but he could ride any bike. And he could wheelie any bike. 
And he mm -hmm. was, yeah, he was starting from when he was eight. Yeah, he started when he was eight. Now he's 13. He's 13, now he almost coming. He's coming. <laughs> yes, sir. <so. laughs> wow. You know, um, so, so you encourage people to, to get involved in bike riding? Yes, sir. So. Why? Because it's, it's, it's fun. And then, like, if everyone link up and ride from all the neighborhoods and all the hoods and everyone on bike, you know, it ain't gonna be no crime because everyone on bike having fun and loving themselves. So, crime ain't gonna be in their mind. When you want a bike and you seeing the activity, it's in the hype. You ain't, you know, violence could be on your mind. Everybody's you riding too as a group, the, yeah. together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I watch even bikes bring even like different gangs together and all. Some people from this gang and that gang, and they still riding together. Bike life, they just ride it. <laughs> So bikes, bikes really bring bond. It's what is the difference between these organizations that you call your yours is an organization, bikes up guns no, down. Yes, sir. That's an organization, and the others are called what? Uh, they get other name like Platinum Riders, SK, the Street Kings, and Slickway Riders. What's the difference between those organizations and the regular gangs? Uh, then we we different. We just riding and. Keeping the peace, promoting the bikes up, guns down, gangs, they selling drugs, robbing, all type of different and activities. And getting involved in all kind of anti-social activities. Yes, sir. It's and mostly everyone who like riding bikes, like they work in nine to five, and like bikes as they side, they just go and ride bikes, they have family and everything. Yes, I had an opportunity to speak with um, somebody else from, a, from another organization, mm -hmm. and they were telling me that they were doing a car wash as they were the night rioters or something, mm -hmm. something nights. Yeah, the but night. they, um, they were doing a car wash, and that car wash was going to be that they were going to give to a charity or help somebody else. So it seems like everybody's Everyone. into this. And then they know they're different groups. Sometimes they have matching vests and mm -hmm. stuff, and they all look uniformed. And you know, it's a fun thing for them to do of all ages. It's every age in there. And they have gorgeous bikes. And yeah, everybody, then they bikes. park down there, and everybody mm -hmm. likes to take pictures with their bikes. and other people come and take pictures with them with their bikes and stuff. So it's really a nice thing to do on a Sunday, you know, when nobody's working. Okay, let's take a final break here on our program. Uh, Kilroy Lord, our guest today, and Bianca knows about this bike business as well. Uh, we take this break and we'll come right back.